One of the most underrated skills to develop these days is the ability to type really, really, really fast. Especially as we move towards a paperless world, it's a skill that will probably be valuable until we engineer the ability to plug in ourselves via USB-C or lightning cable so Apple can exclusively monetize and merely think as the computer captures our thoughts perfectly. But until then, this is the best we got. So for this video, we'll start off by quickly talking about a few reasons why you'd want to increase your typing speed and navigation skills. Then we'll go into some actual tricks and tips to improve your typing speed, and then close off the video with more ways to use your fingers and your keyboard to maximize productivity and supercharge your workflow. The most obvious reason to increase your typing speed is so that you can generate a godly amount of RemNote flashcards. The second reason is that typing faster saves time. The average adult types at around 40 words per minute, which to be honest, isn't that great considering an audiobook on Audible is recorded anywhere between 150 to 160 words per minute. As a medical student, I have to write up tons of notes in clinic after patient encounters. I also write a weekly newsletter with Mike, link in the description if you'd like to receive it. And I do a lot of writing for scripts and courses and stuff, mostly all in RemNote. So one of my main goals is to be able to type as fast as I can think. When I get into a state of flow where words just seem to magically form in my head, the last thing I want is for my fingers to hold me back and throw me off my groove. Okay, let's talk about some ways to improve your typing speed. And there's quite a few, so I'm gonna rapid fire through them. First, fix your posture. Maintain a 90 degree angle with your elbows. Keep your index fingers at rest position on the F and J keys. You can use the grooves to guide you and use the majority of your fingers. You have 10 of them. And yes, I'm including thumbs in that number. Learn touch typing, AKA don't look at the keys while you type. When picking up speed, don't think about typing individual letters, rather think in terms of whole words, because we don't read individual letters, we read words. So for example, if I were typing my name, it's not M-I-K-E. I wanna think of Mike as just one word and my fingers recreate it on instinct. Also, change up your keyboard. I use the MX keys and Maddie uses the K780, both by Logitech, and we both enjoy the Apple Magic Keyboard. So use a keyboard that's nicely spaced for your hand size and has keys that aren't too stiff or hard to push. A good feeling keyboard makes it so much more enjoyable to type on. A lot of typing enthusiasts also enjoy mechanical keyboards. The louder you type, the faster you feel like you can go. I'll leave links in the description for our gear if you're interested. And last, practice. You can search on Google for any number of different apps or programs that help you track your speed. 10 Fast Fingers or Nitro Type are some of our favorites, and they're great because they track your words per minute and assess your weak points so that you can follow your progress. So improving your typing speed is just one facet to maximizing productivity with your fingers. You also have to make use of keyboard shortcuts. I love using my mouse. I mean, come on, I have the MX Master too. But as much as I hate to admit, I save a lot of time eliminating the hassle of moving from mouse to keyboard. So we'll share our top shortcuts. First is Control plus Backspace on Windows or Option plus Backspace on Mac to completely delete a whole word. Likewise, to scroll through your text quicker, you can use Option or Control plus arrow keys to quickly jump from word to word instead of painfully moving one character at a time. On Mac, you can also use command and arrow keys or command and backspace to move to the beginning or end of an entire line. Since Windows doesn't have a command key, the keystroke I use to replicate this is Control plus A to highlight the entire block and then hit delete or left arrow to jump back to the beginning. I find this a little quicker than hitting the home key, which is a little stretch for my right pinky, but using these hotkeys saves so much time, it's unreal. My less productive self went through life one window at a time. But now that I have an ultra wide monitor, I effectively have three screens and moving things around without having to touch my mouse has been super, super useful for speeding things up. So of course, first is switching between windows with Alt plus Tab, really quick and useful. Next is making side by side or even quarter screen panels. And you can achieve this by holding down the window key and using the arrow keys. You can move things left and right and the up arrow will also maximize the screen and down will minimize it. To view your desktop or quickly hide everything on your screen for whatever reason, you sly dog, you can use the window key and D and then hit it again to bring everything back to its original place. I actually prefer using windows and comma since I don't lose my cursor spot, but that's just a temporary desk peek. 
So in Windows, to search anything on the internet, instead of opening up Chrome or any browser and typing, I just hit the window key and search whatever I'm looking for since Chrome is my default browser, whether that's email or if it's Amazon. The three applications that I use for Mac are Moom, which helps me rearrange my windows, Alfred, which is a better version of Spotlight, and the Apple keyboard shortcuts. With Moom, I can rearrange my windows quickly using a few keystrokes. With Alfred, I've customized my settings so that I can navigate to any folder, app, or web page. The last program is Keyboard Shortcuts, which honestly has saved me so much time. We get a fair number of comments on our videos asking us how to study, for example, like how to use Active Recall. Well, I'm not gonna spend the time to type out a step-by-step -step action plan for each of these comments, especially when we already made a detailed video answering that question. So what I do is just answer with a link to that pre-made video. But instead of having to go to our channel, find the video, copy the link, and then paste it in the comment, I can just type exclamation, active recall, and bam, it autofills in the rest. And for those of you who are interested, Wox would be the comparable Alfred for Windows. However, it isn't as sophisticated. So hopefully these tips help you supercharge your workflow. Thanks so much for watching guys, and we'll see you in another video.